Hi team. What we're going to talk about now is a quick introduction to the workshops that I can conduct in your organisation. Obviously we have the Holy Trinity here of training, leadership management and training. I've fulfilled functions uh, regionally, Asia Pacific, uh, Pacific, New Zealand, Australia, in these roles. And I've got a certain way that I do things. All right? It's very effective and although lots of people portray themselves as either a leader, a manager or a trainer, not too many people are very effective at it. Okay, So we'll go through leadership management and training. Then I'll take you through communication separately. Communication is really the key to everything. But in this corporate space, leadership management and training, whether or not you decide to get me to come down and do a workshop, will all depend on the language that I use and the system that I use. Okay, So here's the first one. So this is what I call the Holy Trinity, leadership management and training. So leadership is always the foundation if you're going to achieve anything in business and in life. Whether that's self-leadership, whether that's leadership within a, in a team, in a partnership, in a whole group or a whole company. So that's your base, all right? You've got to be a good leader, otherwise nothing's going to get done, no one's going to follow you. Then we have management, and that's the ability to keep track of, of those tasks, but I've got a different way of doing it, and I use a freedom acronym. Then over here is training. Training is my forte because it was so strict in the military and the police background, more so the military, because you had to get it right or people died. Okay, so we'll go through leadership management and training and then communication. So starting with leadership, okay, I apologize to any other trainers out there. I apologize to any other coaches if I insult you, but you can't be insulted unless you take it as an insult. Leadership, it's generally a cookie cutter corporate experience. Okay, it drives me insane. Someone will turn up, someone will take you through the leadership styles, You'll do an assessment to find out what your leadership style is, then you'll do an example, and then you'll do some sort of leadership training. But it doesn't involve scenario training at all to see whether or not your leadership was effective. There's got to be a test to it, all right? So let me start with my definition of leadership so you can understand where I'm coming from and what I will take your people through. So here we go. The leader, because everyone can be a leader, all right? The leader. The first thing is, the leader must know what to say and do in any circumstance. Some of the greatest leaders, and you think about the own ones, as soon as something happens, they always seem to know what to say and know what to do. All right? So the leader has to know all right? Now that's through knowledge or experience. You have to know. But by itself, that's not enough because we don't know if it's effective, right? Secondly, they have to say it and do it. They've got to have the courage to stand out there and lead and make themselves accountable and own it and own their decision and own their direction. So they know what to say and do. They must say it and do it. Says it and does it. So we've got two, all right? They know what to say and do. They say it and they do it. However, they must achieve the result. If they don't achieve the result, the leadership was not effective. I can stand up here with a qualification and I can say, hey, in this circumstance, I believe this book says, my qualification says, that we should do this and put the idea forward. That's just putting an idea forward. Then you've actually got to go out there and say it and do it. Right, guys, from here, we're going to do this. My decision, my direction. Okay? And then from there, it's got to work. All right. If it doesn't work, you weren't an effective leader. Okay? So the last thing is, you must achieve the result. So when I come into your organization, I take you through leadership training. It is effective leadership training. All right? Anyone can go and Google the leadership styles, the leadership types, do a leadership survey or test on yourself to find out what sort of leader you are. The best test you can do, ask your people. What sort of leader am I? Get their feedback, then you'll find out what sort of leader you are. So you need to know what to say and do, knowledge or experience. You have to say it and do it. Your decision, your direction, you're accountable, you own it. And you must achieve the result. All right, so that's my definition of leadership. In the next clip, I'll take you through what my definition of management is, and I'll take you through the freedom acronym.